There may be the situation where you receive a computer from someone else, probably an older box, probably running XP like this, and it's probably true that that person only used Internet Explorer, and of course there's the evil toolbar. Ugh, I hate these things. Toolbars suck. You should not use them. I don't recommend them at all. They are the bane of web browsers. Do not use toolbars. Actually, let me be a little more specific. Don't use third-party toolbars. This one, the search bar, is okay. Now, of course, you could say, oh, install Firefox, oh, do this or that. Yeah, you could do that, true, but you want to at least get Internet Explorer, and this is uh, version 8 of the browser. You at least want to get this one back to the way it originally was, right? Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Well, we know this is... There should be an about for this. Yeah, about. Okay, we know this is a Yahoo toolbar. We, we see the Y here anyway, so... How do we get rid of the toolbar and then reset IE back to factory specs, so to speak? Well, this is how we go about it. We first run into the control panel and see if there is, in fact, an uninstaller, which there should be, and there it is. Yahoo toolbar is kind of nasty because it installs not only the bar but an auto software update, which uh, I believe runs in the background, chewing up memory. It sucks. So anyway, let's get rid of... I don't think there's any particular order we have to do this in, but I will do the update, for, remove the update first. So I'll uninstall that. Okay, that's gone. And then remove the toolbar. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Would you like to give us more feedback? No. Close. Oh, there's a third one. The install manager. Get out of there. Your machine needs to be reinstalled. Oh, look at this crap. Well, I'll be back in a moment. Hang on. Okay, rebooting. And we're back. Run into the control panel again. Check for any Yahoo garbage. As soon as it shows up. Add remove takes a long time <laughs> uh, after you do a fresh reboot for some reason. I have no idea why. XP is just good like that, I suppose. Okay, now it's finally pot. There it goes. Okay, no Yahoo crap. Well, let's go into... Windows Explorer into the program files directory and see if there's any Yahoo garbage there. There is! Mm-hmm. Delete. Empty recycle bin. By the way, I should make a note that um, if you do plan to do this with Yahoo products in particular and you have the Yahoo Messenger installed aside from the toolbar you don't want to delete the Yahoo folder so only delete that folder if you're absolutely sure there are no Yahoo products left on the machine at all okay let's check the application data folder which is percent app data percent yeah there's a Yahoo folder there it's blank which is okay but we don't want it there gone empty recycle bin and finally well actually no this is not finally this is the second to final step go to C cleaner which is a great app by the way analyze that run analyze again run so it's zero registry scan for issues do to do to do 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 oh fix fix close scan do to do Okay, nothing. Back to cleaner, analyze, zero. Registry, scan, nothing. Great. Why is this down here? Ugh. The joys of using Windows. Okay, anyway, go back into IE, which still has some Yahoo crap in there in the fact that it still has the search and it's set the Yahoo homepage so I will tap my alt key tools internet options advanced tab reset delete personal settings 
resets home pages, search providers, and accelerators to default settings, deletes temporary internet files, history cookies, web form information, passwords, and in-private filtering data. Reset. Close. You must restart. Internet Explorer. Well, at least it's not making me reboot the stupid thing. Okay. Go back. All right. I should see a big window appear here, as if the uh, browser was installed from scratch. There it is. Okay, welcome to Internet Explorer. Next. No suggested sites. Um, express settings, live search. Yeah, that's good. Finish. Launches a tab I don't care about. Okay, close. Restart browser. Okay, and we're back to the way we were. We've got our live search here. That's funny because it should have been Bing, but it sets it to live search for whatever reason. Okay, so that's how IE8 is supposed to look by default. And I go view toolbars, get rid of the favorites bar, hide the menu bar. <sighs> okay, now this is a browser I could somewhat use, I suppose. <laughs> and what is this crap they want to install now? Okay, it's installing some type of this, probably a new update, whatever. Anyway, that is how to reset Internet Explorer 8 um, or 7 if it happens to be on the box. Installation complete. Thank you. So to recap, we um, uninstalled a bunch of crap, and then we went and ran CCleaner and rebooted once, because actually, no, we uninstalled crap, rebooted, ran CCleaner, made sure everything was uh, okay there, and then reset the browser, and now we have a happy IE, or as happy as we could get it. Oh, and now it's Bing. <laughs> it was live, now it's Bing. It's magic!